Here we go. This is my uh, Fixus uh, ficus, bangalesis, ficus audrey. Um, it's doing great after the trim. I got it to uh, subdivide up here. I think I want to cut it down low here to get some more subdividing, but it had trouble letting go of its, uh, its you know, not coaster, but the, the condensation tray, whatever you want to call it, the drainage tray. So I'm going to give it a little trim. I almost want to repot. I want to do a little bit of looking. And I think at this point, it's probably wise. I'm just going to use my um, specially designed bonsai banded shears to cut off some of these roots on the bottom. Uh, I had roots cut at the bottom before. I was like, oh, cool. That's a good sign. I'll wait until there's too many of them. And I looked the other day, I could just see this big fat one. I don't know if you can see that sticking out. No, I gotta, gotta redo it. So, ooh. let's see if I can actually get this thing out or if it might be cutting off. I know it looks like it's in bonsai soil, it's just on top. I uh, did that because I wanted to give it a little bit of chance to get some good roots on it. Right. Of course, there's no bonsai soil on the bottom, but that's okay. I'll start off with the root hook from Bobcat Bonsai. Already, <laughs> it feels so good. Oh, man, Matt. Yeah, this is really well designed. Look at this. I mean, I know it's not difficult soil, but it is just tossing it off. It doesn't feel like it's tearing anything. It's just so gentle for no reason. Um, yeah, that's, I was going to say, tear that? No, it doesn't feel like it. Connected down lower. So I'm just going to do a little bit of exploratory here. Glue it off the top, maybe get some more of the base exposed. So I was thinking with this one, I do want to go with the whole, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, big root. Uh, like kind of that weird, twisty, wavy like you get at any other, you know, department store with a bonsai. I kind of want to do that with this. I'm just not sure the realistic, you know, the realist realisticness, the reality of doing it. Um, this thing's got some funky roots on it, though. It's got really big roots. I've already found a couple. Most of its roots are a little bit lower, which is also kind of nice, because it means that I get to unbury a little bit of the tree. Um, but yeah, I want to cut it down low and get, if it subdivides like this, I can use this as a new leader kind of thing. Go down low, cut it, new leader, and get a lot of good taper into this, a lot of good movement. Because that's a great angle to start doing a little funky, you know, thing. I know that'll be a long process, but that's all right. That's the whole thing about bonsai, right, is you're in for the long haul. Yeah, this root works really well. I'm not sure I love the way I'm holding it. I think I need to play around with it some more, find my right grip, but I do really like it. Actually, yeah, I like it one finger through, holding like that, just barely tearing it out. And these are all just kind of massed down here. I mean, this doesn't really have movement to it, so I'm glad I pulled it out because that kind of needs some attention. Even here. I think this is the end of this root. It's a nice big long root, so that needs some attention too. This is going to be very quick because my dog is frustrated with me. He stepped on one of the trees I collected, my emergency trees for the Bonsai by the Sea Yamadori Challenge. I haven't forgotten about that. I haven't. Uh, so it's coming. Matt, you were the one who nominated me, and James, I know you've already seen it. But I've uh, started. I just got kind of hung up because I can't get back to get my bald cypress, and it may be too late now. We'll see. I might have to just go with something else. I got some cedars and other things that I collected. That's not what he stepped on, thankfully, but yeah, we'll see what we, we come up with. All right, so immediately I'm going to say this is probably the best tool I've got to date for bonsai. <laughs> it's so great. So if you guys haven't already, check out Bobcat Bonsai's website. He's got a website. Um, I put it, you know, you can use the QR code from his uh, from his business card. If you watched my video or Candace's unboxing from Matt, you can screenshot that and your phone will allow you to use that QR code to go to his website. So I don't know if I've got a lot of good roots, but I do have a lot of roots. <laughs> I already see some I don't really love. 
And I'll admit, I wasn't sure about how much I would love this when it comes down to actual repotting. It looked really great, feels really good. But now that I'm using it, I know it's exactly what I needed. <laughs> I needed a long time ago. I don't know why I waited. I was a little jealous of that, uh, that horseshoe one, though. My family has horses. So horses are a big part of my life. I actually once had a tattoo on the bottom of my foot of a horseshoe. Um, that lasted about six months, and it's no longer there. It's just faded so quickly. The skin on the bottom of your foot reproduces so quickly that you just, or the skin cells, I should say, reproduce so quickly that keeping a tattoo on the bottom of your foot is near impossible. All right, we're getting somewhere. I don't know that I've got, <laughs> now I've got a big lapse there. I've got these things here. You know, I'm going to use a little bit of prodding with my, can you see this still? I hope so. Barely. <laughs> Do a little bit of prodding with my skewer, just because it's a nice, long, straight tool. So I can get in here and poke stuff through. I think that's all I really need to do now. Um, just poke some of this stuff through. It's really not bad soil it was in. And it's already been, this has been cut off clearly. And it just grew the way it wanted to grow. Um, it's actually not growing bad at all. But I will say that with how nicely it roots, this big one isn't doing it for me. So I'm going to give it a little chop off. Try to get it somewhat level. So now all of my roots will be coming down through there. This one loops underneath, so again, it's gonna be, did I even cut? Yeah, it's gonna be done in. This one's real big, again, it's just not doing me any favors, so I'm gonna try to go as close to level with the soil. Then this one here, which is really, really big. I've got a root above it. That root's just too high. So I'm gonna take that off. That root's gone. And this big one is gonna come off right about here. Because I don't need these big, big roots where they are right now. I need them other places, you know? <laughs> I'm on, on big trees. This isn't big enough of a tree for that. So that's a lot of root coming off, but I like the roots that are left behind, honestly. I'm gonna take my these are for cutting hair in case anyone was curious. These aren't even for bonsai. I just like using them. Um, I did also wear some uh you can call them bonsai shears. But I did order some shears, some actual regular shears that I can use. So those will be coming. That'll be really good. Um it's not a whole lot of root left. I think I can make it work. I'm not going to put it back in this pot. I've got other pots I can put it in. I think this is going to be my guy right here. Because I don't need it in a real pot. I just need a training pot. I do have to put some feet on here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let me just readjust my camera so you're looking at what I'm doing. I've got a little sticky feet. Or I should have a little sticky feet right here. Somewhere. They were inside my hat. Here we go. They are still inside my hat. I should probably prep this, but let's see what happens first. Huh? Let's see. Ooh. See if I can just get some feet on here without having to do any funkiness. And since I'm only using three, I don't have to make them perfect or anything. Oops, stuck to my finger. That's not good. They create some issues for me. All right. That'll do for me. I think I am going to give myself a couple new holes in here. Forgive me, anybody who uh, is sensitive to noise, we're about to do some... Not super loud, but somewhat loud drilling. I'm going to give it some more drainage. I want this thing to have the absolute best opportunity, and I've got a good big piece of a uh, screen over here. You guessed it, I do not have a very
sharp drill bit on here. It's part of why it's not looking so hot for me. I think that's probably good. Is it perfect? No. Is it better? Maybe. Yeah, whatever, right? Whatever. Here's my screen. This is not cut for this one, but works for me. Some soil in the bottom. This is brand new bonsai soil. And let's see here. I know I shouldn't be leaving all these roots on the bottom, but I think I can just smush them down. They'll grow out versus down. I don't want to take off any roots I don't need to. I'm going to give it a little rinse in the sink. One moment. You can hear it, but you won't be able to see it. All right. Ooh, this is what happens. I left my old-fashioned by the sink. So, not a lot of roots, but I think I can, you know, mash them in and use them as normal roots, which would be nice. The only thing is, I might need to tie this one in. I don't want to, but I might need to. We'll try it without first, because I don't have a whole lot of wire. Uh, just about this. Just have one in front of me. Good piece of actual bonsai wire. Well, let's see if I can just push this up through. First, I'm gonna dump this back into here and bent this wire for a different uh, container. But I'm gonna use it for this instead. that work? Yeah. All right. doesn't need to be perfect, as you can imagine. just needs to hold the dang thing in place, right? I should be doing this on the shortest route, but we all know me. I'm kind of silly. I'm not saying the best way. Ooh. Now, if I tie this in, it doesn't work out nicely. I'm going to be so mad. Twist this over a little bit. All you people who told me to tie things in are like, ah, we won. You didn't win. Told you I tie things in when I need to. All right, cool. And best part is, this actually isn't even aluminum wire. This is steel wire. I'm just being a little bit of a jerk. Poor plant. It's going to hate me. All right. You guys, a little better biz, I think. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to do any chopping today. I'm going to let it regain vigor. It's got lots of good, healthy leaves on it, which I'm happy about. Let's see here. Where can I put this that doesn't create issues? I'm going to try to put it under. Uh, it's not going to work. Kind of a funny one. Come through there? Yeah. There we go. Let's see if that does anything for me. If not, then not. But, you know, at least I tried, right? At least I tried. Bye. Sorry, you probably can't see very well what I'm doing, but I am just getting this tied in, kind of, maybe. Might even not be doing that. We'll find out in a moment here. Yeah, I don't think that did anything for me. <laughs> All right, so instead of that, we'll do something else. I might be a little bit brutal to the tree just to get it from falling over. This isn't a place where it can be bumped. And as we all know, I'm a little clumsy, so uh, we're gonna make sure we 
reduce risk in this the right way. Well, not necessarily the right way, but better than the wrong-ish way. All right, that's going to go like this. Get a little twist. And this is over the root, I know. But I'm also trying to make sure I do this, you know, in a decent way. There we go. That is okay. Oof. Of course, it's not all the way in. One more twist. And another one. There we go. All right. Well, of course, then I scraped a big chunk off of it. Not what I wanted to do at all. All right, before I do anything else stupid, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up, stick it in, chopstick it in. It's already in the pot. And we'll go from there. Um, congrats to Tom from Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors on your 1,000 subscribers. That's mind blowing to me. I'm still trying to figure out the ins and outs of messing up when I film something improperly. I've had I've actually gone through and deleted some stuff. I'm like, it's not worth trying to recover this film. It's not good footage. It's not good anything. You can't see well. I didn't hold the tree in the frame, whatever the reason. Kind of gave up on some of it. All right. I know how much you guys love my top dressing. So I'm going to continue to use it because it actually works really nice. So this is, you know, my stuff that people are like, oh, use sphagnum. I have. I don't like sphagnum. I really don't like working with it. I don't like touching it. It's unsettling to me. I know it's very useful. As a top dressing, this has worked really well. It's kept things nice and moist and... <laughs> My uh, my kind of twisty, windy, bendy boy ficus, uh, it's got roots growing through it, so it works very well. So that is the, you know, ficus audrey, ficus bengalesis, repotted to help those roots, uh, you know, do a little bit more what I wanted them to do. Took off some really big roots that already clearly responded well to chopping but didn't need to be in this, especially not for the final composition. So I'm gonna water this down, get it back under the grow lights, and then wait for it to fill up all these drainage holes. That's why I poked new drainage holes, because those, those would've been full if I'd had this in this pot with just the one. Um, poke new drainage holes, that helped me out. Um, when I've got this thing full of roots, then I'll go ahead and give it a chop. But right now it's, it's ready to just grow. So thanks for joining. I'm Taco, this is Taco Bonsai. Have a great day.